Hello Grade 8, Mr. G here and we're going to make some videos related to visible light. This topic is going to be involved in the upcoming exams. It's not going to be too difficult, but we're going to be few uh, videos on this topic because I want to make the videos not too long. So the first one we're going to do is related to visible light. Now, visible light will be divided in subtopics, okay? And the first topic is going to be the radiation of light. So, radiation of light. So, the first, the first thing we're going to be doing here is dividing objects. Objects are going to be divided in two groups. One group, which is going to be a called luminous object. Luminous object. And the other group, they are going to be called non-luminous object. Non-luminous. Let's just leave it as non-luminous because we already uh, did write there or wrote the um, object. So these are the non-luminous objects. Okay? Now. What are the luminous objects? Now, the luminous objects are the ones that give off light by themselves. Luminous objects give off their own light. For example, a torch, a candle, the sun. For example, if this one here is a candle, this candle will give off light in all direction that is one example of luminous object another example could be the sun for example the sun so luminous objects give off their own light example could be the candle the sun a light bulb a torch your cell phone when you switch it on those are example of luminous object now non-luminous objects are the one that do not give their own light this object do not give off their own light. Do not give off their own light. An example is anything else that is not um, a luminous object. For example, a table, a chair, a soccer ball, you, yourself, a learner. Those are non-luminous objects, the moon, etc. The moon only reflects the light that is coming from the sun. So, for example, of non-luminous object, we can say a ball, a book. This is a very beautiful book I just painted here. So, this is the first part you need to know about the radiation of visible light. That objects, all the objects around us can be divided into groups. Those groups are luminous and non-luminous. Non-luminous objects. The luminous objects give off their own light. For example, the candle, the sun, a torch, a light bulb. And the non-luminous objects are the ones that do not give off their own light. They will reflect the light. For example, a ball, a book, a car, a bicycle, a, a dog, anything that do not give their own light. Now, something important about the luminous uh, object is that the sun is the a largest or biggest source of light on the earth. The sun is the biggest source of light on the earth. So that is the first important thing to know regarding objects. Okay. Now, second, light travels in straight lines. That is why we cannot see around corners. So lights travel in straight line. So um what sorry a mistake here straight line okay or lines now what um, does it mean we cannot see around uh, corners we cannot see around corners like travel in straight lines if you have a rate of light now light travels in straight line let's say this blue line here with an arrow represent a ray of light. 
if we have an object, for example, this object that could be a block, and this object is moved somewhere in between the right of line, what is going to happen is that the light won't pass anymore through the rate, the stop there, because it is blocked. That is, or that means that light moves in straight line. That's why you cannot see on the other side of a wall or a door. Now, the speed of light is also important. This light travels at the speed of 300 thousand kilometers in one second. We say per second. So in one second, this light can go 300,000 kilometers. So that is how fast the speed of light is. Nothing is faster than the speed of light. In one second, the speed of light or light can travel 300,000 kilometers. That say that from the sun to the earth, it will take around 8,3 minutes. So light from the sun will take around 8,3 minutes. It can travel 300 kilometers in one second. That is quite fast. Okay. So this is the first important thing regarding light. Regarding light. Now, let's see the next important thing. Why do we see objects? Now, we see objects because light is being reflected. The light coming from any of the luminous objects is being reflected on the object and this is why we see the object. Otherwise, we cannot see. There is not light we cannot see. We only see when light go and shine on the object. Now, for you to have a better view, let's see this following a picture or drawing. We have the sun, we have a tree and we have a person. Why does the person see the tree? Well, light is coming from the tree to the from the sun to the tree, sorry. The sun is the luminous object here. The lights are coming to the tree. And the tree is reflecting the light. So the light that comes from the sun shine on the tree like a mirror. Then it coming all the way to us, to our eyes by reflection. That we are going to look at that a little bit later. And that is why we see the tree obvious our brain is the one that see okay there the front is something that we call a tree that is how it happened light is coming from the sun is reflected on the non-luminous object in this case is the tree and we then see the tree so we see the tree or any object when light is being reflected on that object but the light is coming from luminous object so that is how this is working. And we are going to stop this video right here. Okay. There is important thing. So let's quickly, quickly have a, a look at the video. First of all, radiation of light objects can be divided into luminous and non-luminous. Okay. The um, luminous objects are the one that give off the own light. The non-luminous objects are the one that give off they do not give off their own light. Example of luminous object could be the candle, a sun, a torch, a cell phone. Now, example of non-luminous object could be a ball, a book, a table, etc. Okay. Now, second important thing, light travels in straight line. Example, if you have a rate of light, in this case, is this um, blue one here. You have light that is coming from a luminous object and you place an object in the middle, lights cannot pass on the other side. So here on the other side, what we see is shade, is the shadow produced by that object that was blocking the light. Right? We also know the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. It means that light can travel 300,000 kilometers in one second. And then the last important thing on this video is that we see objects because light that is coming from luminous object like the sun is being reflected on the object and therefore we see the object when light coming from the object to our eyes. So that is the first important thing of this um, video. I hope it helped. Please study for the upcoming test. It should be an easy test, but 
um, we'll see. Good luck, and next time we'll go more with light. Thanks a lot.